Hello, students. My name is Brian Stewart. I will be your teacher for today. Today, we are going over part one in our textbook, Life Science. And specifically, we'll be talking about the parts of plants. If you think about it, plants are all around us, aren't they? We use plants for many things. We use plants for food. We use plants for shelter, right? Our house is made of parts of plants. Plants even make the air that we breathe. So we can see plants are all around us and they are very useful. Today, we will discover two things in our lesson. The first is the parts of a plant, right? Here's a nice picture of a plant. We can see that there are different parts to this plant. We're going to talk about those different parts. The second thing you will discover in this lesson is how a plant's parts help it to live and grow. So how do these parts of the plant help it grow into very big uh, plant or a very good plant, a mature plant that we can use? Well, let's, we're going to find out these two things in this lesson, so let's get started. Here we have a plant. These are types of plants, of course, perhaps in your garden. Perhaps your mother has a garden. She has these kinds of plants. A plant, what is a plant exactly? A plant is a living thing that grows in the ground, okay? We are living things too, human beings and animals, but we don't live in the ground, right? Plants can't move. They are stuck in the ground. So plants grow in the ground. They need, or it, a plant needs air, water, and sunlight. So there are three things that a plant needs to grow. And those, of course, are air, water, and sunlight. So how does a plant get these things? In this lesson, we'll talk about the different parts of the plant that help the plant get air, water, and sunlight. Okay, moving on. Here we have the root. This is the part of the plant that you normally, you don't see. It's in the ground. In the previous picture, <clears throat> we only saw this part of the plant here, right? But we didn't see this part. This part are the roots. And these are typical looking roots for a plant. They have many different uh, parts or many different like arms going into the ground. What does the root do for the plant? The roots of a plant take in, take in water and hold the plant in the soil. Before, we saw that a plant needs air, water, and sunlight to grow. So the roots are the part of the plant that helps the plant take in water. Okay, and also the second thing that the roots do is they hold the plant in the soil. So these roots are like strong legs, right? But in the ground. So the plant is, does not fall over. <laughs> if there's a strong wind, it stays sturdy and strong. And for a tree, for example, that's very heavy, that's very important, right? So roots help the plant stay strong in the soil. Okay, let's move on. <clears throat> Let's talk about the next part of the plant, which is the stem. Okay, we started at the bottom, the roots we can't see, but now we're coming up and we can see the stem is here. What does the stem do for the plant? A stem carries food and water. So carries food and water through the plant. So the roots down here, they're taking in water, they're also taking in food from the, from the dirt, from the soil, and the stem carries that food up right? To the leaves, okay? Through the plant. It holds up the plant. So the stem is like the trunk of your body, right? It is the main part of the plant in, in many plants. Uh, but it's like the structure of the plant and it holds the plant above the soil. And we call that the stem. Okay, let's move on. Here we have a leaf. These are the top parts of the plant. You see these big green things. Most plants have these. What are they? Of course, they are the leaf. Now, be careful. Leaf is singular, one, one leaf. But of course, plants have many, many leaves. 
So if we talk about singular, leaf, or plural, leaves, leaves. Okay. So here we have leaf, and what does the leaf do? A leaf takes in. Again, we have that verb, right? Takes in. It takes in light and air. So it takes in light and air. Two things that the leaf does for the plant. It takes in these things that help the plant grow. Leaves help the plant get food. So we can see that the plant gets food basically from two parts we've talked about already. The first part we talked about were the roots, right? The roots take in water and some food from the from the soil. Also, leaves take in air and sunlight, and those are the things that help the plant grow to be a bigger plant. Okay, let's move on to the next slide. Some plants are very beautiful, aren't they? In the springtime, you can see many different colors, and these colors are made by flowers. So many plants and trees, uh, which trees are plants, of course, have flowers, and the flowers can be many different colors. Very beautiful. What do flowers do for the plant? Plants have flowers. Flowers make fruit. Well, that's what they do for us, right? Because we eat the fruit. But what does the fruit do for the plant? We'll find out soon. Flowers are very beautiful, as I've said, right? Well, what is it about flowers and fruit that is good for the plant? Okay. Well, these flowers they produce fruit. Now here we see an example of fruit. These look delicious, don't they? Fruit, of course, is good for us. It's part of the plant that we eat. Some plants. Um, these, of course, look like oranges. There are many different kinds of fruit. Fruit is the part of plant with seeds. Here we have seeds. We'll talk about later what seeds do for the plant. Apples and lemons are common types of fruit. So if you cut open an apple, I'm sure you like apples, right? Apples are very delicious, and they're good for you too. You should eat lots of apples. But if you cut open an apple, you will see seeds inside the apple. If you open a lemon, be careful when you eat a lemon. It's sour, right? But you also have to watch out for the seeds in the lemon. Okay. So plants will also produce fruit. Okay, let's move on. What is another part of the plant, especially on trees? Right, not so much small plant, but for big trees, we can see branch, a branch, plural branches. A tree has many different branches, so you can climb a tree. Right, when you want to climb a tree, if it has a lot of branches, it's a good climbing tree. But Be careful when you climb a tree. Okay, be very careful.、Um, okay, a branch is an arm like a part of a tree. So if you look at me, I've got two arms. It's like I have two branches, right? But a tree, of course, has many different branches, and these, of course, support the leaves where the tree takes in air and sunlight, as we saw before. Okay, let's move on here. Now we're ready for a little review. This is a picture. We have a nice picture of a plant here. It's a small plant. It's a beautiful plant. Why is it beautiful? What are the parts of the plant? Let's review. The beautiful part of this plant. What do we call this part of the plant? Can you remember? Okay, you got it. Did you guess flower? Yes, that would be correct. This top part of the plant here, the beautiful, bright, colorful part of the plant, is the flower. Okay, so let's move on here. What would this part be here? This is the part that holds up the plant. Okay, what do we call that? We call that the stem. Okay, this is the part that supports the rest of the plant. Now let's move on here. We see this green thing here. Remember this green thing? We say it two ways: one for singular, one for plural. What do we call that again? Do you remember? Yes, you got it. Leaf. And remember the plural. Leaves, leaves. Okay, let's move on to the last part of the plant that we have pictured here. This part is the part that holds it in the ground. It's the part that takes in water and some food from the ground. Do you remember what we call the what we call this part? That's right. This part is called the roots of a plant. 
Okay, do you know, this is just one type of roots of a plant. This is kind of a typical plant, but you know, there are many different kinds of plants, and different kinds of plants have different looking parts. Let's look at a video with a very different looking type of root. Do you, can you guess what it is? Well, let's take a look at the video. Okay, look at this. It looks like it's a little windy. Do you see this plant here? Do you know what this is? We take this part, of course this is a carrot, right? And did you know that the carrot is actually the root of the plant? There are many types of plants where we actually eat the root. We don't eat the stem or the leaves, we eat the root. So you can see we're taking the, the plants, the carrot plant, out of the ground and putting them in the box. And in the box, the stem and the leaves have been cut off. And then the carrots, they come to your dinner table. By the way, carrots are very good for you, right? Uh, so you should eat lots of carrots and other types of vegetables. And many types of vegetables are actually grown inside the ground. And we take them out and we eat the root of the plant. Okay, it's time for a little review now. Let's go over the words that we've discussed so far in this lesson. We can see the, root, the words that we are looking at are root, stem, flower, plant, leaf, and fruit. All of these words are what? They are parts of a plant, right? All of these words are different parts of a plant. So how can we describe these words? The first uh, question is, the part that takes in light and air for the plant. That's important. The part that takes in light and air for the plant. Which part of the plant did we talk about where the part of the plant it takes in light and air, two important things for the plant to grow? Which part does that? Okay, if you guessed, if you guess the leaf, you are correct. Of course, it must be the leaf, right? It's not the roots. The roots are underground. They can't take in light. There's no light underground. So it has to be the leaf, right? Okay, that's the first one. The second one, again, we're talking about a part of the plant. The second one, the part that takes in water for the plant. Remember, we talked about that. That part is underground. What part do you remember? Do you remember what part that was? That part, of course, is the root, the root of the plants, okay? Okay, so let's move on to number three, the part of the plant with seeds. What part of the plant has seeds? Give you a clue, it's also the part of the plant that we eat, it's very delicious. Of course, we eat roots, but this part of the plant is sometimes more tasty, more delicious than the roots. Do you remember what part that is? That's right, it's fruit. So it's true, apples and oranges are usually more delicious than uh, carrots or onions, for example. Of course, they're all good for you, but uh, fruit is the part of the plant with the seeds. Okay, let's move on to the next three questions. Number four is the part of the plant that carries food and water to the plant. So think about that. You have the roots underground, you have the leaves up top. What part of the plant carries that food up from the ground? Can you remember that? That part, of course, is the stem. It's also the part that supports the plant, that makes the plant uh, stand up straight and tall and hopefully strong, if it's, a, if it's a strong stem. Okay, number five, the part that makes fruit and is very beautiful, right? Before fruit comes out on the plant, what is there on the plant? And remember, it's very beautiful. In the spring, you can see many beautiful colors because of these. And of course, this part of the plant is called the flower. The flower is the part of the plant uh, that, where, that makes fruit and that is very beautiful. Okay, we're on our final word here. Number six is a living thing that grows in the ground. Okay, this is the only word actually that is not part of a plant. It's, it's the whole thing, right? And that of course is the plant. A living thing that grows in the ground is of course a plant. We human beings and animals are also living things, 
but we do not live in the ground, right? Only plants live in the ground. They don't move. Okay. Well, let's talk now about the use of plant parts. We talked about so far about the many different parts of a plant. Now let's talk about how we use these parts of the plant. Um, plant parts, we've talked about these, stem, roots, leaves, and flower. Okay, these are all plant parts. On the bottom row here, we have things made from plant parts. So what kinds of things do we make from the plants that we use in our everyday life? That's what this chart shows. As you can see, here we have the stem of a tree. Okay, it's a very strong, very big stem. Of course, this is wood, right? We use that to make wood. And what do we use wood for? We use wood to build a house. So before, when I said we use plants for shelter, well, that's exactly what I was talking about. We use trees to build ourselves shelter or a house so that we can live in, we can protect ourselves from the wind and the cold. That's our shelter. Did you know that we use some roots to make sugar? Hmm, that's good, right? Uh, so some, some plants that we use the roots of, we, of course we eat roots, we use roots for a lot of different things, you know, we could use carrots, uh, onions, things like that, but also some plants we can use to make sugar, right? That's really good and delicious. Okay, another thing that we use leaves for, did you have, did you know this? This is very interesting. Leaves are used to make toothpaste. So when you're brushing your teeth tonight or after your next meal, when you use your toothpaste, think about that. Part of the toothpaste, not the whole toothpaste, but part of the toothpaste was made from plants' leaves. Wow, that's great. That's very interesting, isn't it? Finally, what do we use flowers for? Of course, if you, uh, if you go into your mom's bedroom, of course, you know, be careful there, but sometimes your mom smells very nice, doesn't she? Well, perhaps she put on a little perfume. And we use, uh, we use flowers to make perfume. It's what gives the perfume a nice smell. If you go up to a flower in the springtime and you smell that flower, mmm, it smells good, doesn't it? It smells great. Well, of course, we can use flowers to make perfume to get that same sort of smell. Okay. So, let's review here. Which is the correct plant part for the picture? We just covered how we use different parts of the plant for different things. So, what do we use to make these different things? Over here, the first picture, we have a picture of a house. So, what part of the plant do we use to make a house? Do we use A, the leaves, or B, the stem? Do you remember? Aha, that's right, it's the stem. We use the stem especially for trees, okay, because trees have the wood, and you can see that, that this uh, house, they didn't really cut the wood, they just used the trunk or the stem of the tree to make the house very easily and very simply here, okay? Let's move on. What is the picture of number two? What is that? That looks like perfume, right? You take the lid off and then you push the little uh, nozzle and psh, it sprays perfume on you. So, what do we use to make perfume? What part of the plant is used? Is it A, the flower, or B, the root? I hope you guessed A, the flower, right? Because the flower smells good. If you take a plant out and smell the roots, ugh, that doesn't smell good at all. So I doubt that we would make perfume from the roots of a plant. The flower smells much, much nicer, doesn't it? So of course, we use the flower to make perfume. Okay, finally, over here, number three, right? What is this a picture of? This looks like toothpaste. Although it looks like they're wasting the toothpaste. Don't do this, right? But you just put a little bit of toothpaste on your toothbrush. When you brush your teeth, think about this. What part of the plant is used to make toothpaste? Is it A, fruit, B, leaves? Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking fruit because that would taste good, right? But I'm sorry, it's not the fruit, right? The part of the plant that we use to make toothpaste are the leaves, leaves. Remember, those are many leaves. One leaf, but many leaves. We use leaves to make toothpaste. 
Too bad. It would be nice if we used the fruit. Maybe the toothpaste would would taste really good, right? But it's not good for a toothpaste. We use leaves to make the toothpaste. Okay, let's continue with our review. Here we have some true or false questions. So the directions are circle true over here for true. If the statement is true, circle F. Here is F. If it, the statement is false, let's go over these statements. We have three statements here. The first one, a stem carries water to the plant. So remember, when we were talking about the different parts of a plant, we have the roots, we have the stem, and we have the leaves. So the roots take in water, and how does that water get to the rest of the plant? The stem carries water to the plant. So this statement is true. True. A stem does carry water to the rest of the plant. Let's move on to number two. A branch is a long and sharp leaf. Does that sound correct? A branch is, if you can imagine a leaf, you know, the green part of the plant, very long and sharp. Sharp, you got to be careful if it's sharp, right? Sharp means it's dangerous. It can, it can poke you. Is that, does that sound right? That's not correct, right? That's false. Because a branch, remember, is like an arm of a tree. It's part of the stem that comes out. It's part of the wood, actually, that comes off the stem. The branch comes out, and it supports many other leaves on the tree. So a branch is not a leaf. It's part of the stem. It's an arm of the stem. It's an arm of the plant that comes out and supports more leaves. That is a branch. Okay, so number three, the body of a tree is called the stem. Remember when we were talking about the uses of a plant. We said that we use the stem of a tree to make houses, to make shelter. And that is what we call the stem, right? So the body of a tree is called the stem. That is true. By the way, usually we use another word to talk about the stem of a tree. And that word is trunk. T-R-U-N-K. Trunk. So for a tree, we talk about trunk. For all plants, it's called the stem. So yes, we can say the stem of a tree, but we also normally, commonly say the trunk of a tree. That's also correct. Okay, so these, we have these statements down. The body of a tree is called the stem. That is true. It is also sometimes called the trunk. Okay, you guys ha uh, learned a lot so far. Let's take a short break, okay? Okay, well, welcome back. We've talked about the many different parts of a plant. We've looked at the words to describe the parts of a plant. In this section, let's go over a short reading passage that kind of summarizes or covers the topic that we've been talking about, okay? So we're going to look at a, a well-written passage uh, that describes the topic that we are talking about in this unit. And we can see here the first sentence of this reading, there are many different parts of plants. This is our topic sentence, isn't it? This is our topic sentence. Our subject is plants, Specifically, we are talking about parts of plants. So our overall subject is plants. Specifically, exactly, we are talking about the different parts of plants. So the rest of the reading will be describing what are the different parts of the plants. Let's continue. The, plant, the parts help a plant to grow. So first we said there are many parts of a plant. Our next sentence tells us what those parts do. What do they do? They help a plant to grow. So all the different parts of the plant help the plant to grow. Then of course the next uh, section we're going to talk about these parts of a plant. We're going to organize the ideas somehow. In this case we're going to start at the bottom and work our way up. So we're going to talk about the roots first, and that's exactly what we have. The roots of a plant take in water and hold the plant in the ground. So the next sentence, we're starting with the roots. This is our organizational style, starting from the bottom, going to the top. Roots, what do they do? Two things. They take in water and they hold the plant in the ground securely so it doesn't boop, 
fall over, right? Okay, so two things. Let's continue. The next thing, we're moving up, right? Our organizational style is from the bottom to the top. So the next point is this part, right? And this part, of course, is the stem. The stem, what does it do? It carries food and water through the plant and it also holds up the plant. It holds up the plant above the ground. So we've talked about the stem. The next part, moving up, what's the next part? We can see that they are the leaves. Remember pronunciation, leaves. Okay, so the leaves, what do they do? We've talked about what the roots do. We've talked about what the stem does. Now it's time to talk about what do the leaves do? What do they do? They take in air and light for the plant. So the leaves take in air and light for the plant. So uh, we've started out of the roots. We've talked about the stem. We're on the leaves now. What would the next part of the plant be? That's right, this beautiful part of the plant right up here. And that's at the top. That's at the very top of the plant. That's towards the end of our discussion about the parts of the plant. The flowers of the plants make fruit. So what do the flowers do? They make fruit. Flowers, of course, are very beautiful. That's just an extra thought that we're putting in there. People can eat the fruit. That's how it benefits us. Also, the fruit holds seeds, and we'll talk about that uh, later on. But the fruit holds seeds. Okay. Oranges, apples, lemons, and bananas are delicious fruit, aren't they? Yeah. You probably eat a lot of these every week, right? I hope that you eat at least some fruit every day, right? So whether it's oranges, apples, lemons, or bananas, these are all different kinds of delicious fruit, and it's good for you. Trees are a different kind of plant. They are very big plants. Trees have branches. So that's another type, that's another part of a plant that we didn't talk about. I mean, you could maybe call these branches, but this is a small plant. If we're talking about a tree, a very big tree, the part of the tree uh, uh, that comes off the stem, those are called branches. Branches, of course, are the arms of a tree. They have many leaves. Okay, so we've seen the reading passage that was talking about the different parts of the plant. Remember, our topic sentence was, uh, there are many different parts of a plant. So let's take a look at that reading and let's look at the main idea and details. Whenever you have a short passage, a short essay, or a short description about something that is written out, you can break it down. You can look at how it is organized. There's always a main idea and then there are support sentences, details. What is the main idea of this passage? The main idea, of course, is that there are many parts of the plant and also the parts of the plant help it live and grow. That is the main idea of this uh, passage. Then we see the details. What do the roots do? The roots take in beep, that's A, and hold the plant in the Beep. Okay, so the first part of the plant that we talked about, of course, are the roots. And we can talk about what do the roots do? They do two things. One thing, A, what do the roots take in? Do you remember from our discussion before in the reading? The roots, of course, will take in which word down here? We have air, flower, stem, water, seeds, and ground. So which one of these things do the roots take in? If you guessed water, you are correct. Very good. The roots take in water from the ground. Also, that's one thing they do. The second thing they do, they hold the plant where? Where do they hold the plant? Which one of these words would fit into this blank? Well, if you look at it, you will see they hold the plant in the ground, right? The plant is in the ground and the roots are holding that plant firmly in the ground so that it does not boop, fall over, okay? Okay, so let's move on to the next detail. We've talked about the roots. We're going to talk about the next part of the plant. Now remember, we started at the bottom and we worked our way up. First we talked about the roots. We're going to talk about the second part of the plant. The beep carries food and water and holds up the plant. So what's the second part of the plant that we talked about? Air, flower, stem, water, seeds, ground. If you guessed stem, 
You are correct. That is the second part of the plant that we talked about that gets back to our organization too. First roots, stem, leaves, and flowers. So the next part again is the leaves. The leaves take in what? What do the leaves take in? Remember, the leaves take in two things. They take in light and something else. The leaves are not underground. They're out in the open. They're out in the air, right? So the leaves take in air and light for the plant. And this is how the plant gets light and air to help it grow. We're on the final part of the plant. Do you remember? So we start at the roots, stem, leaves, the final part of the plant, that's E, the beep, make fruit. What part of the plant makes fruit? If you guessed flowers, you would be correct. The flowers, that part of the plant, makes fruit. What does the fruit hold? That's our final word here. The fruit holds what? The fruit holds seeds. That's correct. Like I said before, if you open an apple or you open a lemon, or if you open any, any type of fruit, you will find seeds in the fruit. So this is our reading skill. This is our main idea. These are the details, okay, for the uh, reading passage. And as you can see, it's very well organized. We start at the roots, the bottom. We moved up to the stem. Then we talked about the leaves. And finally, at the top of the plant, we talked about the flowers and what they do. Okay, let's move on. Now we have a review here. Uh, this is reading comprehension, right? How well did you understand the reading passage? Let's take a look at the different uh, questions. Question number one. The roots of a plant are found in the A, air, B, soil, C, leaves. Now this might be a little tricky because they're using a different word, right? Before we learned about ground. The roots of a plant are in the ground. What is another word that means the same as ground? And that would be, of course, soil. Soil is the same as ground. Whoops. There we go. G-R-O-U-N-D. Whoops. My D is strange. I'm sorry. D. Okay. So soil is the same as ground. Okay. So uh, the roots of a plant are found in the soil. The roots of the plant are found in the ground. Okay, let's move on to the second one. The stem of a plant carries what? Do you remember what the stem of the plant does? What does it do? It carries something. Does it carry water and food? A. Does it carry B, air, air and light? Or C, soil and ground? Which is interesting because these are the same thing, right? I just said soil and ground are the same thing. So that's probably not the right answer. Does the stem of the plant carry air and light? No. What the stem of the plant does, it carries water and food from the roots up to the rest of the plant. So the correct answer here is A. The stem of a plant carries water and food from the roots up to the rest of the plants. Okay, let's move on. We have another couple of questions. Number three, the flowers of a plant make fruit. What does the fruit do? Does the fruit hold up the plant, A, or B? that hold lemons or apples, or C, that people can eat. So the flowers of a plant make fruit. This question is about what the fruit does. Here we have that, that, that. All of these that's are referring back to the fruit. What is true about the fruit? Does fruit hold up the plant? No, <laughs> the plant holds up the fruit, right? Uh, the stem holds up the, the plant and that holds the fruit. B, does the fruit hold lemons or apples? No, the fruit is lemons or apples, so it doesn't hold lemons or apples. Is it true that people can eat fruit? That is true, so that is our correct answer. The flowers of a plant make fruit that people can eat. That is our only true statement, C, about fruit. So the answer is, the flowers of a plant make fruit that people can eat, that you and I can eat, and we should eat at least every day. Okay, number four. The leaves take in air and light, and then we have the rest of the sentence. Now, if you look at the rest of the sentence, uh, be careful, because we have a comma here, we have an and, and we have different subjects 
for the rest of the sentence. This is actually a compound sentence. There's the one subject is here, right? The leaves take in air and light. That's true. And then we have the stem, the leaves, or the flowers, okay? So we have to find a true statement from A, B, and C about the new subject. Don't get confused. We're not talking about leaves again. We're, we're talking about something different. Now, true, B is talking about leaves, but A is talking about the stem, C is talking about the flowers. So we don't really need this first part of the sentence. We only really need to pay attention to the second part of the sentence. So A, the stem holds up the plant. Is that true? That is true. It's probably our answer. B, the leaves turn into seeds. The leaves turn into seeds? That's not true. The fruit carries the seeds, not the leaves. So B is probably, is not our answer. That's not true, right? Remember, maybe A. Let's look at C. The flowers carry food and water. The flowers carry food and water? No, the stem carries food and water. The flowers don't do that, so that is also incorrect. Our only true answer is A. Our only correct answer is A. The leaves take in air and light, and the stem holds up the plant. So be careful. This is a little difficult of a sentence. Two subjects. One, the leaves to the stem. So you don't really need to worry about the first part of the sentence. The second part of the sentence is what you really have to pay attention to because we're switching, we're changing the subject. So which is the true part? Which is the true statement? Okay, let's move on. And we have come to the end of our presentation. We have talked about how the parts of a plant help it live and grow. And again, just to review very quickly, we have a very good picture of a plant here. We've talked about the roots, we've talked about the stem, we've talked about the uh, leaves, and we've talked about the flowers. Also remember, on a tree, we've talked about the, uh, the branches of a tree, and we've also talked about the flowers turning into fruit and holding the seeds. So, it, plants are very amazing, aren't they? We use them for a lot of different things. Like I said before, we use them for food, we use them for shelter, and they also actually make the air that we breathe. So, next time after this lesson, go out, enjoy nature, go look at the plants, and now you know what the different parts of the plants are, and you know a little bit more about how we use those parts. Take care, everybody. See you next time.